What is up guys, welcome to Speed Culture Studios from the woods. So I've been asked about these big mouth intakes for the Q50 many, many times over the last couple of years on the channel and it's been on my list of videos to make and I just hadn't got to it, but today I thought it was just as good a day as any. So in typical watch before you buy fashion, what do they do, what are they supposed to do, what do they actually do, and are they worth purchasing? Let's get into it. I'm sure you all probably know what I'm talking about, those Ram Air big mouth intakes that they make that, you know, the, the, the rectangles right behind the Q50 grill. The point of them, the purpose, I, I guess the concept behind them is that they direct cold air from the front of the grill up into the intakes and into the engine. Obviously the idea is that the cooler the air, the more dense the air is, the better the engine performs and therefore your performance increases. Do, are, are they technically supposed to increase horsepower? Probably, it's probably a selling point that they make. And I'm gonna go ahead and say too that the impact or the effect that they have overall from platform to platform, engine to engine, probably varies. Of course, we're talking about the Infiniti Q50, particularly the 3.7, so do they work on the VQ37 Q50? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, no, absolutely not. They do not work, and let me tell you why, though. Just stay tuned, let me tell you why. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right off the rip, number one, the very first, at the very basic level, is that we already know that cold air intakes don't really work on the VQ37 Q50. Obviously, we know the G37 responds a little bit better to cold air intakes, but the Q50 just doesn't respond to cold air intakes. Uh, the car, the reason is that the car already brings in as much air as it can possibly handle. You're not really helping the car anymore by bringing in more air. The factory air boxes actually work very, very well. They're already bringing in cool air from the front of the car. You can see that that, that air dam, the shroud at the very front of the engine bay, it has those inlets that directs cool air from the front of the grill right into the intake boxes, into the filters, and up into the engine. So those couple of elements, we already know that the car is getting cool air from the front of the front of the grill, from the very front of the car as it drives down the road. We already know that the car is getting as much air as it can possibly deal with already. Why, then, my question is, do we think that putting a, a snorkel in the grill is going to do anything more? Is it going to benefit the car anymore? It just won't. It's just not going to. Now, that being said, we've already sort of crushed the dreams of these snorkel boys anyway, but if we take a look at the overall design of these big mouth uh, Ram Air intake kits, these intake snorkels for this platform, uh, they have sort of that large collector, right? The rec rectangular Ram Air collector right at the front of the grill, but it goes back and then takes a hard 90 up as it goes up and over the, the radiator support and then into the intakes. Why would you do that? You're ruining the velocity of that cool air that the car is already getting. If you look at the shroud at the front of the engine bay, it's pulling air at a high velocity at the speed of the vehicle, essentially, right into the intake box, into the intake filters, and in, on into the engine. The airflow, the velocity of the airflow is uninterrupted. It's already cool from the front of the car, but now you throw this, uh, these Ram Air snorkels in the grill, and sure, they might be collecting air, cool air from the front of the car, but it hits that wall in the back of the duct and has to send it up and then back into the intake. So any benefit that you're trying to give the car, you're sort of negating it because of the, you're just ruining the velocity. A lot of people might argue, a lot of practical people, people that I agree with would argue that it, the velocity doesn't really matter anyway because you know the car's pulling in as much air as it can possibly deal with. So pushing it in faster is not helping, not helping at all. So it, it's really sort of a, a a moot point at this point. Um, but what's my point? My point is that these big mouth intakes don't work. I'm sure they got some colored rings around them now and they have some LED lighted ones that you can that you can wire in that kind of look cool. And um, you know, they're 150, 250 bucks, something like that. So if you're looking at them just from an aesthetic standpoint, which unfortunately a lot of the modifications that we do to these VQ37s are aesthetic, uh, inspired anyway simply because we can't pull all that much naturally aspirated power out of this platform then sure go for it a couple hundred bucks to have a kind of a cool look in your grill sure I, you know i can understand that but if you're looking at it from a purely performance standpoint and you're like hey i'm trying to pull every single horsepower out of it i can get another few horsepower for a couple hundred bucks absolutely not avoid these they're not going to get you any additional power you're not going to see any benefit from them Again, the car's already pulling cool air in from the front of the grill. As long as you don't have short ram intakes under the hood, you're totally fine with the factory air boxes or Takeda intakes or drop-in filters. The car is set up pretty well to bring in cool, dense air at the highest volume that the car can possibly deal with 
at this point anyway. Even if you tune the thing and you got test pipes and an exhaust, it's already dealing with as much intake air as it can possibly handle because uh, it's just how the car is canned essentially. So from an aesthetic standpoint, yeah, sure, get them. 150 bucks, 200 bucks for some LED ones, 250, whatever the hell it is, yeah, fine. They look cool, it's something to talk about, I guess. But from a performance standpoint, absolutely not. Not worth it, not worth a, a single penny in my opinion. So something I never installed, something I never even considered installing. And you know, I just, I just wouldn't do it. I'd, I'd put that 200 and something dollars into something else that would benefit the car. Uh, a nicer set of uh, brake pads, for example, maybe some stainless steel braided brake lines if you haven't done that already. One nice tire. <laughs> Now again, the performance benefits of a modification like this can vary from platform to platform. There are some vehicles certainly out there that just have a restrictive intake system and they just don't breathe all that well and they may benefit from pulling a little extra cool air from the front of the vehicle. But the Q50, however, is actually designed quite well. It, it pulls in as much air as it can possibly handle, it pulls in cool air directly from the front of the vehicle going into the intake boxes. There just really is no need to modify it or change it at all. There just really isn't a better flowing, um, you know, drop in filter from AFE, for example. That's really all this car needs with basic bolt ons. It's gonna, that, that's that's it. You don't need to add snorkels from to the front of the car, it just doesn't make sense. Again, some cars like having sort of a ram air setup integrated into their system it helps it breathe a little bit better i get it but again the q50 it just it just doesn't need it i know there's going to be some guys that chime in and say oh no no they saw two to five horsepower increase uh just by throwing these snorkels on no they didn't no they didn't they they probably took a uh, an untuned car got a baseline dyno number threw these snorkels on tuned it a little bit and got a couple of horsepower that's probably all they did because i i can guarantee you they've never taken a car that has bolt-ons has been tuned got a got a dyno number threw these snorkels on and then made more horsepower it, it just hasn't happened not if you did a, a true side-by-side -side comparison it, it they just are not making more horsepower in the the q50 with the 3.7 it's just not happening you guys got to also remember that the people that are giving you these horsepower numbers are also trying to sell you a product they're not going to say hey buy this intake system that doesn't actually do anything for you it just looks cool they would never sell any they would never sell any. Same with these people that sell intakes for this platform. Of course, they're going to tell you you make 10 or 15 extra horsepower because if they told you you make one or two for $500, they wouldn't sell a single set of them. So we got to use our brains when people are trying to pitch us something. When they're trying to sell us something, you got to think, really, how honest are you actually being? As always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. I appreciate all of the engagement and the interaction with these videos. More stuff coming for the channel. I hope you guys will follow along. I appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you in the next one.